Before using your pocket nib, open the pocket nib box and make sure you have all of the parts listed on the back. The parts in the box include the handset, the medication cup with the mesh vapor disc cap, which is the blue cap right here, the mouthpiece, the mask adapter, the charger, and then the travel bag. Before operating the pocket nib for the first time, it should be charged until the light on the medication cup is blinking green. To charge the unit, plug the wall adapter into a wall power outlet and plug the USB charger into the port on the left side of the unit where it reads USB. A red low battery light will blink to show that the battery is charging and it will change to green when the charge is complete. Charging time will vary depending on the condition of the battery, but if the battery is completely discharged, it will take four to six hours to become fully charged again. Also make sure that you do not use the pocket nib while it is being charged. Before the first use, be sure to clean the pocket nib. To clean the pocket nib, remove the mouthpiece or mask adapter from the medication cup. Then remove the medication cup from the handset and discard of any remaining medication before cleaning. To clean the unit, open the blue cap on top of the medication cup and add distilled water. Then slide the medication cup back onto the control unit until it clicks into place. Then you can connect the mouthpiece or mask adapter and press the power button on the front of the handset. To completely clean the pocket nib, keep the unit on for 15 seconds. Then you will want to discard of any remaining water and let the medication cup air dry. To clean the handset, wipe the handset down with a cloth dampened with distilled water. Be sure to never use alcohol or place the handset under running water. Also be sure to never attempt to clean or directly touch the mesh which is the silver and yellow part where the mouthpiece and mask adapter attaches to the medication cup. This will damage the mesh because it is sensitive and any tampering with it can damage the unit. Placing the mesh vapor disc cap over the medication cup, opening while the pocket nib is not in use is a good way to avoid damage. After charging and cleaning the unit, remove the mouthpiece or mask adapter from the medication cup. Then remove the medication cup from the handset and open the medication cap. Pour your medication as prescribed by your physician and close the medication cap. Then slide the medication cup onto the control unit until it clicks into place. Then you can connect the mouthpiece or mask adapter and press the on button on the front of the handset. Make sure you slightly tilt the handset towards yourself to assure that the medication is in contact with the mesh. Place your lips around the mouthpiece or if using a mask, position the mask against your face. Start inhalation and take treatment as directed by your healthcare provider. The unit will automatically turn off after 20 minutes of use, but if additional treatment is necessary, press the power button on the front of the handset to continue your treatment. Once you are finished taking your treatment, remove the mouthpiece from your mouth and press the power button on the front of the handset to turn it off. Then remove the mouthpiece or mask adapter and place the mesh vapor disc cap back onto the medication cup. Be sure to clean the unit using the previous instructions and place the pocket nib along with its parts in the travel bag. Be sure to always place the unit in the travel pouch after treatment and while traveling for safest use. If at any time you are having any trouble with the pocket nib before contacting MVD, be sure to refer to your instruction manual and look under Troubleshooting Guide.